This was me freshman year of college and this was me this morning. I don't know what has happened in the last three years. I do feel I may have had a minor <clears throat> blow down, but that all changes today. We are doing a speedy glow up for spring break. You see, I'm going to Hawaii for spring break and I want to feel good about myself inside and out. We are going to be working out, cooking, full hair transformation, whitening my teeth, fixing my brows, and giving myself an at-home facial. So basically, we're forcing a glow up and we are going to do it all, honey. Last week was my birthday month. I was living my best life. I have no regrets, but I can't say I was nourishing myself the best that I could have, but that is all okay because we're getting back on track this week. The goal is to basically look like an ABG at the end of this. I want a super slay. Let's get into it. Our class started at 6 a.m., so we had to leave the dorm at 5.30. 30 bright and early in the morning i don't know why it felt so difficult today i think it was because it was a cardio class and it was super early in the morning then once we started strapping in to the trx band i knew it was getting real we started doing these little froggy hops and i almost died this was killer i could not hold up the weight of my body by the time we got to this booty blast at the end i was struggling to stay alive i've been so sedentary lately so this felt so refreshing aftermath mm -hmm. of our workout it was really hard it was it was so hard yeah. today. i don't know if we're not used to doing it at this time yeah but i was pretty tired my legs hurt my legs also hurt yeah. yay but at least we did it After bar, I made my favorite smoothie. I add a cup of blueberry, a whole banana, a handful of frozen spinach, some almond milk, cinnamon, and hemp seeds for a little bit of fiber. I always have the hardest time trying to get my fruits and veggies to blend together. I don't know if I'm not adding enough almond milk. I literally have to manhandle the blender just for it to blend smoothly. I always top it off with granola and cashew butter. I cannot tell you how good this combo is. I've been eating it for over a year now and it just doesn't get old. I went out this weekend with my friend, so I am a bit tired from that. This week is all about resetting, getting my mind ready for spring break. After some breakfast, I headed over to Urban Outfitters to complete the fashion part of this transformation. I decided to get some baggy jeans that felt very street style, very baddy. I really wish I got this top. I did not. It is so cute, but I did get this top. It was on sale. Very proud of this purchase. Also got these cargo pants for like $7, which is a total score because they're so cute. Headed over to Free People afterwards. I know these clothes are not very baddy like, but I just love it. This is what my dream closet looks like. I'm super Super, super happy with my finds today the sales were amazing it's like they knew I was coming it's like they knew I needed to turn into a baddie for spring break I'm so excited to wear those fits out I'm about to head out for my hair appointment I'm so excited my hair has been looking like hay lately and I haven't really been taking the best care of it it is also way too long right now like is almost touching my booty so we need a little bit of a trim i want to give it a lot more volume like at the top i want that wolf cut look i also want my hair to be a little bit darker i was literally on pinterest five seconds ago and found these pictures and we are going to try our best to achieve that once I arrived at the hair salon, my hairdresser immediately gave me a consultation and chopped off a few inches of my hair. Then we decided that we were going to bleach my roots because the rest of my hair is obviously blonde, so we didn't really need to do much to that. I did have a lot of regrowth of my natural black hair color, so they had to do a whole lot of that. They also gave me snacks and drinks, which definitely made the time go by way faster. Oh, mom, do you like the hair so far? <laughs> They put these little covers over my ears and I thought that was so cute. Honestly, I spent a lot of time just waiting because my hair is pretty dark, so it takes a little while for the bleach to process. Yeah, it's I have red under. I've never seen my hair this color. Oh really? No. When I walked out with a full head of bleach, my mom was like, you look like Felix from Stray Kids. And if you follow Stray Kids, you know he always has bleach blonde hair. And honestly, that is spot on. At this point, they started 
started applying toner to the top part of my hair to make it the brown color that I had suggested in the beginning of our session. Not gonna lie, my scalp was burning a little bit because I don't think I'm used to having this much toner close to my scalp because I'm usually doing a balayage or some highlight. This is the hair reveal. I am literally obsessed. I really wanted a medium brown kind of ashy tone and I really feel like she achieved it. My hair kind of has a slight red tint which is exactly what I wanted. My hairdresser told me my hair will lighten up as time passes which is great. I always try to dye my hair a little bit darker than the color I want it to turn out as so that it fades to a really nice color. I also chopped my hair like a ton. You can probably tell but I got a long wolf cut and it kind of turned into more like a medium wolf cut which I'm still living for. I have the curtain bangs. I have tons of long layering in the back. My hair feels so light. I honestly feel like I look like a completely different person. Here's a quick hair 360 for all y'all who are wondering. I think the side profile looks so good, just like the S shape. It feels very 90s, it feels very blown out. After I got my hair done, I went out to dinner with my mom. I had never tried this restaurant before. And the marinated crab was to die for ambiance was beautiful. They had some Wagyu stew and it was amazing. I've never tasted anything like it. We also went out to dessert. I got an Enjoy Me latte and it was amazing. I had such a good time talking with my mom over dinner and dessert. I really do feel like this mentally helped me glow up because whenever I'm at school, I rarely eat meals with people. Most of the time I'm eating by myself. And although this can be a form of wellness, it makes me value the time I spend eating with others so much more, especially my family. All in all, today was a 10 out of 10 day and I totally feel glowed up. It is now time for probably the scariest part of this glow up, the eyebrows. No matter what I'm going through, I never succumb to the pressure of cutting my own hair because I am afraid. I think that scene in the American Girl doll movie, Kit Kitteridge, is ingrained into my mind and I'm just so fearful something like that will happen to me, so I've never cut my hair. This is the closest I'll ever get to doing anything to my own hair. I honestly have no idea how this works. I'm gonna remove my eyebrow makeup while reading the directions. I also took out my contacts because eyebrow stuff just started falling into my eyes and it was itching so bad. Also, I'm scared if the bleach were to mix with my contacts, something would happen to my vision, which I don't think it would ever happen like that, but I'm kind of paranoid if you can't already tell. From what I've gathered, the first step is to use the spatula and fill the mixing cup with cream to the line indicated. Well, I guess me being blind as a bat will make this process slightly more interesting, so that's good. Starting with the big tub. Ooh, this stuff is thick, honey. She is the consistency of like, it's like slightly thicker than toothpaste, I guess. This looks like icing. It's like icing on the top of the cookies you get at the grocery store, you know, the sugar cookies. I don't want to put too much. Maybe I'll take a little out. I don't want my eyebrows to be white. Always better to do less than more, right? Measure one accelerator cap full of powder and add it to the mixing cup. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Let me do this over the sink. The cap full is going in and getting all over the sink. This is kind of cute. It's like the mini version of what my hairstylist did on my head today. Oh, it's so cold. I'm scared. I'm gonna go like backwards on my hairs just so I know everything is nice and coated. Oh no. Okay, I want to do the other side as quick as possible so that one doesn't end up being way lighter. Oh, it's getting on my hair. Like my head hair. Okay, hurry up. I don't know if this is good that it's all over my face. Okay, I'm gonna set the timer right now. Oh no, I didn't go the other direction. Okay, let's just, let's just hope for the best here, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's set the timer for five minutes so I do not leave this on too long. Timer is set, now we wait. Five minutes have passed and nothing happened. Like, my brows are very clearly still black under this cream bleach. So I'm gonna leave it on for another five. Um, guys, I may have 
messed up a little bit. I just watched a singular video on YouTube on Bleached Eyebrows Masterclass. I was supposed to put Vaseline around the surrounding area to avoid burning my skin. It has been 10 minutes and I honestly don't really notice much going on right now. I think what I'm going to do is wipe this off, see if it, anything has changed. Let's try again, round two. Actually, now that I've wiped off all the bleach, my eyebrows did get lighter, but I want them to be lightened up just a little bit more. This time we are going to do it right. <laughs> Is that too much? It's giving very much Santa Claus. It's giving very much Jack Frost. We're gonna wait another five minutes and see what we can make happen. This is the moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and tone this with some purple shampoo. I'm using my Olaplex purple shampoo just because this is the most powerful and only purple shampoo I own. I look hilarious right now. The final step to this brow transformation is of course tweezing. Now onto a more relaxing part of our glow up, skincare. This is the state of my skin right now. My acne isn't terrible, I just kind of have patches of acne around my cheeks. I also have a bit of scarring around my mouth. I always start by removing my eye makeup. I wear waterproof mascara, so I need a specific cleanser just for the eye part. Then I go in with a cleansing oil, really working that in, especially around the neck area, because I always forget to remove my makeup there. I ordered a little sample set from Curology because I honestly was at wit's end and wanted to try something different, and it's actually kind of working. I use this toner essence combo, been using this for years, it's wonderful. Before I gua sha, I'm gonna put some oil on because we do not want to be dragging our skin all over the place left and right making wrinkles. I kind of just copied the tutorial I watched on YouTube, how to gua sha. It seems to have worked so far. The only thing about gua sha is you kind of have to continue doing it or else you lose your results. For example, I'm watching these clips like a couple weeks after I filmed this. I haven't been gua sha as much recently and I definitely notice the difference. My face looks visibly more snatched here than it does now. I have really dry skin so I love to mix and match different serums. I've been loving this one from Beauty of Joseon and the Skin House one. They're really hydrating and very light on the skin. This moisturizer came with the Curology sample set I got and I actually really like it. It's very thick and has yet to irritate my skin. I feel like this product makes the biggest difference in my skin compared to the face wash or the lotion. I think the custom formula has actually really helped that patch of pimples on my cheeks go down and go away. Those pimples are typically really inflamed. I don't know if they're bacterial. Maybe it's caused by something in my dorm water. I'm not really sure. I'm actually really happy this has worked so far because as you can see from the acne scarring I have, I've had these patch of pimples for a pretty long time. I finished off my at-home facial with the Laneige lip mask and of course a sheet mask because this would not be an at-home facial without a sheet mask. And this is also my reminder to do sheet masks more often. It definitely improves the elasticity of my skin by like tenfold. Usually Usually my skin genuinely looks like the Sahara Desert. No ABG transformation would be complete without the makeup to finish it all off. All these makeup looks are kind of different variations of each other, but I noticed almost all of them include a nice highlighter, pretty fluffy lashes or the anime style lashes, sharp eyeliner, kind of more straight and very clean eyebrows, and overlined lips. I'm gonna start with my everyday base just because I don't really feel like the base is the most important part of this look. If you want to look like an ABG, contouring is a must. I really want to carve out some nice cheekbones. I want to slim my jawline just a little bit to give me that very sharp look turn my five head into a four head. I feel like the ABG makeup style has a very sharp nose, but I don't want to make anything look too dramatic. So I'm starting here and just tapping it onto the bridge and around the tip, I'm going to carve it out with a brush. Feel 
place a little bit of the contour cream around my lips to make my lips look more plump. I think a peachy tone blush is really going to suit this makeup look, so I'm going to double up with a cream and powder blush. Going in with some translucent powder. I only want to mattify certain parts of my face, so I'm only going under the eyes, my chin, the smile lines, and around my mouth, and like the middle of my forehead. These looks are very glowy, so I don't want to mattify my face too much. It's so odd seeing myself not have black eyebrows. We are going to carve out these straight, sharp brows. Since we are doing an ABG look, I'm going for a more smoky, mauve, gray tone eye. I'm using a very shimmery blush today to give me that glow from within. I'm gonna use a pair of fluffy lashes, but I'm only gonna apply them on the outer corner of my eye to give myself a more cat eye effect. We're going to be using the Holika Holika Plumper. People used to use these as like a challenge to see if they could handle the spice of these lip plumpers. But honestly, I feel like after using them for such a long time, I don't feel it anymore. I totally forgot that I need to whiten my teeth, so I'm gonna pop in some Crest 3D white strips while I finish up my makeup. Let's line these lips. genuinely look so much whiter now and now for the moment you've been waiting for this is the finished look i am obsessed i honestly really love these jeans that i got at urban outfitters like very cute Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I am so happy with how everything turned out. I was scared at the beginning of this week that I would look exactly the same by the end of the week, but I actually think I look very different, especially with the new hair. I am super happy with how the brows turned out, super happy with how the makeup turned out. I have a bunch of cute new fits that I can wear in Hawaii over spring break. Overall, this has been a mental and physical glow up era. If this has taught me one thing, it's that glowing up is actually very hard. Like. Doing all these steps throughout the week was actually a lot of work. I had to put an effort to do all these things. Most of the things I got to do were very fun for me, but it made me realize like glowing up just doesn't happen overnight. If you would like to see my adventures in Hawaii, you can subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!